Okay, today's video is going to be about how to remove the clutch master cylinder from my 1985 Suzuki Intruder. Um, I went for a ride the other day and uh, it was good for most of the ride, but then by the time I got back to the house, uh, I pretty much had no clutch. Uh, it's all spongy and it builds up a little bit. And it's kind of stiff there, and then if I wait a couple seconds, and I got to do it again, it goes right down to the handle. It's all spongy again. So I'm going to rebuild this. I'm going to do this in two separate videos. I'm going to do one on how to remove it from the bike, and then I'm going to do another one on how to rebuild it. Uh, that way, you know, if you already know how to do one, you can skip that video and go to the next one. Uh, hmm, my camera has decided to unfocus. There we go. So, uh, first thing you have to do to remove it is take your mirror off. Yeah, you want to do that when it's on the bike. It'll be easier so you have some leverage. Right? And, and because I'm going to rebuild it, I'm going to pull the lever off while I've got it attached to the bike. That way I have leverage for the, for the bolt. Uh, not necessary, but I'm going to do it because I'm, that's because, like I said, I'm rebuilding it. And then after you uh, take this off, take that off. I'm going to remove your line right here, it's very simple to do, and then you want to remove these two hex bolts here, and that will come right off the handlebar. So uh, I'll do a recap as I do each step, kind of show you how it's done, not that it's that difficult, but um, so uh, get the tools I need and we'll get started on that. Okay, so I got together the tools we need to do this job. First thing you need is a 12 mil wrench, a 10 mil socket, and a 10 mil wrench or two 10 mil wrenches, a Allen key or socket. This one happens to be a number. Uh, they're calling it a five millimeter. Okay, and you need a 14 millimeter wrench and a small star screwdriver. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull off the lever, okay? So 10 mil and the 10 mil, so that's where the two 10 mil wrenches come in. So I'm going to pull that off and then I will be back and show you the next step. Okay, so I got these uh, loose here, so I'll just pop that out there. Set that on my bench over here where I know it's safe. And then pull that. Fiddle that a little bit, pull that out, okay, and then the lever should come right off. Uh, now before I forgot to mention, before you start anything with brake fluid, cover up anything with paint, because brake fluid will eat paint right off of there. So you want to cover it up, I got a, an old jacket and a piece of plastic to cover my tank and my side cover here, so that if any brake fluid drips it doesn't drip on my paint. Uh, unless you're going to repaint, then it doesn't matter. I am going to repaint eventually, but not right now. So, um, anyway, so I got that off. So, this lever should just slide out. Okay. And there's a cable there. Okay, so that's your piston and stuff there. So, with that out like that, you should be able to twist it and that should pop out. So, I'm going to attempt to do that and then I'll be back okay okay so I got the handle pulled out um, now what I should have done is I should have actually waited till I got us on the bench to do that because that handle goes in here and that's your boot right there I don't know if you can see that or not but uh, should really kind of pull that off more careful so but it's out so what I'm going to do next I'm going to pull the mirror off I'm going to pull the sensor off here for the clutch idiot switch and I'm going to take off the line. So I'll start with the mirror. Uh, some of these mirrors you can just kind of turn them by hand. Yeah, there we go. And it'll come off. I'm replacing these two so it's not a huge deal if I had bent it or whatever, but. Unscrew that, set that aside. Okay, 
and then uh, your small star screwdriver to loosen these screws right there for your sensor. Okay. Now be careful, make sure you have the right size screwdriver for that. Because those are small, delicate little screws. If they are uh, seized in there, you can very easily strip the heads. So we'll pull them out. And again, they're very tiny, so there's your little cover there, so make sure you don't lose that. And there's your wire there for your sensor. Oh. And that is all corroded and broken. So it looks like I'll be replacing that too. It never worked anyway, but we'll, uh, so we'll take all these, we'll set them aside there. Yeah, there we go. So there's our little piece that broke off the sensor. There's the cover and the two screws. Okay, so the sensor is removed. Now we're gonna remove the clutch fluid line. So this is where you wanna be careful to cover up while you paint. So you need your 12 mil wrench for that. Okay, so now when you remove this, remember there's a little washer there and a little washer there. You don't want to lose those. Oop, more rust fell off my sensor there. Loosen this. Now, there's a fancy name for these screws and I can't remember what they are. The ones that have the holes in them so that your fluid goes through them. But uh, I at the moment cannot think of the name, a special name for them, but there's that little hole. So your fluid goes from your line or from your reservoir and there to, into here and then out into the line through those holes. So anyway, it's hard to do with one hand, so I'm gonna set this down, pull that out, and then I'll come back. Okay, so I got that bolt out, so I'm just gonna set that aside here for now. Now, again, make sure you don't lose those two washers. Try to keep this cable upright the best you can so you don't have anything leaking down. So it's kind of sitting up on its own right now. So uh, that's good. And now the last step to remove it is you grab your Allen key or socket. And you loosen up these two screws right here. Yeah, so once that's loose, I just gotta remove those screws and that should pop right off now. So I'm gonna, again, I need two hands to do that, so uh, that's how you remove it. And once I've got it removed, I will do a video on how to rebuild it.